I'm here. How lovely to see you. Why did I keep my voice down then? I'm just going to turn the microphone a bit closer. Why am I speaking like that? I've got no idea. Here I am. It's Peter. What can I do for you today? Right. How parents cause stuttering and stammering part two. Got your attention? Okay. Been reading a lot of transactional analysis and psychodynamic therapy. And the overwhelming evidence is if you are a parent and you are too controlling and your child starts to be disfluent, you will probably turn them into a child who stammers. If you want to know the difference between a disfluent child and a stammering child, you're going to have to watch video one. If you want to know how to identify whether you're a controlling parent, video two. Better still, shove out a box of Lego with a small child. If you're deciding what they're playing with, I, so if you get them, uh, remember, Duplo Farm. Put the Duplo Farm out. If they pick up the cow and you start talking about the cat, pig, or if they pick up the pig and you start telling them they've got to build a house first because you have to fill out the rules because if they don't follow the rules things won't go right so the farmer needs somewhere to live the child can't give a toss about building the house it wants to know about the pig now if you decide what the child is playing with what is the center of attention if you're leading the player and you can ask me about leading play it is a hundred percent that you well that's a anecdotal evidence so sorry about that but it is highly likely that you will lead and you will have lots and lots of rules now psychodynamic therapy transactional analysis transactional analysis you got those there is the parent and the child lots of evidence on the internet a controlling parent a parent that sets lots of rules a child that has high expectations of how they are supposed to behave so you might think that making them behave and making them is good is wonderful what a well-behaved child does exactly as they're told if they start to be disfluent and you are a controlling parent they are likely to stutter and it is your fault now the speech and language therapist, for whatever reason, and I was guilty of this, will say parents don't cause stuttering. Yes they do. Parents don't cause stammering. Yes they do. Let's get the semantics out of the way. Parents do not cause disfluency. Parents do cause stuttering. Parents do cause stammering. And once speech and language therapists get their head out their arses and start looking at the difference between a disfluency and a stutter and be very very definite you could be contributing significantly to your child stuttering okay so you have expectations of behavior if you have high expectations of behavior if you are very strict if you have a beautifully behaved child and they start to be disfluent the chances are that they will stutter right other evidence that I've just been reading about strong evidence that a compliant child a well-behaved child a child that does as they're told a child that has the disease to please will earn 20% less than a child who doesn't respond like that a child that is too well behaved now, don't go to the extremes of having a spoilt brat and a beautifully behaved child. Perfect if you can get them in the middle. But that takes time and effort. Your job as a parent is to nurture your child, not to control them. So if they go near a Duplo farm set and they pick up the pig and you start getting them to build the house first because that's right and that's proper, you are controlling. If they are disfluent, they are likely to have a stutter. Speech therapists, stop being arses. Stop going, oh, parents don't cause stuttering because that will frighten the parents away. P 
parents do cause stuttering. You create a compliant child, they, if they go from stuttering, disfluency, they will stutter. Your fault. Right? Parents cause stuttering. If you've got any questions, get in touch. God, I was so aggressive there. Oh, so manly. <laughs> I've got a sense of humour. Yeah, but I care about stammering children and I care about the rubbish that speech language therapists tell parents. I don't know why they do it. I've got a pretty good idea, but it's way too long for this video. If you've got any questions, give us a shout. Remember, I'm not actually a therapist, I'm a screenwriter. My motivation for making these videos is that I no longer am employed by the NHS, so I can put the record straight. But more than anything, I just want to make James and the Giant speech. It's the 21st century answer to the King's speech. And I'm looking for donations. Get in touch, subscribe, send me your love. Uh, I'm down there, but I'm also up there. I'm so beautiful. Thank you very much for watching. Please share and all the other rubbish. Take care.